Hi, welcome to Mihai's video blog. I want to talk about backup today. Um, my good friend and productivity coach David Braun says that when he coaches clients, sometimes he just takes them straight to the Apple Store, get a MacBook, get an iPhone, get a hard drive for backing up, no questions asked, put the money into it because it will be worth it. The reason it's worth it is that Having a technology platform and a backup is probably the most important part of that. Allows you to focus and concentrate on everything else you're doing in your life and not um, drain your energy. I definitely hear stories from my friends, Mark Lewis is one of them, who just spent time and time and time again dealing with, um, with computer crashes and so on. You want to make sure that everything works well. So what do I do for backing for backing up? Um, and I've actually I'm actually trying to make this make this a daily practice. It's not something that I want to sit around and be like, oh yeah, let me plug my my backup hard drive in. Um, but I kind of make myself, and, and it's close to becoming more of a habit, especially with my iPhone. So there's three components to my backup system. First of all, my iPhone. Um, I try to back it up as as much as possible, and with the new iTunes and iPhone operating systems, it's actually it will actually even back up over Wi-Fi. It doesn't need to be plugged in. So I'll just go to. Can you actually see this? I don't think you can. Um, but part of devices, it just shows up in there. My iPhone, even though there's no there's no plugs. Um, so plug in the iPhone, sync it, and as part of syncing it, it'll, backing, it'll back it up automatically. And I've definitely had to restore my iPhone from backup a few times as I've lost iPhones or they've crashed. Um, the second thing I do is I use Dropbox for all my important files. So I actually never save anything I, I ever want to see again to my desktop or to my hard drive. Uh, Dropbox works really well and I've tried other solutions that don't work as well so basically it just puts a folder on my computer I don't know how well this works but that Dropbox folder is is basically where everything everything that I want goes to if I have multiple computers if I have to um, access it from a friend's computer I can do that uh, there's a this is a free service um, although you can always buy more storage space, I'm I'm kind of dancing at the edge of that, of that uh, limit. And then the third thing is I have this hard drive. I think this is a one terabyte portable hard drive, or maybe 750 megabytes. Anyway, it's a little bit bigger than my laptop's hard drive. And uh, thanks to Apple's Time Machine backup. It, this is really easy, so I haven't done this in a, in a few days, so I'm just going to plug it in. And, and there's, a, there's something in my menu bar, which I can just click and say, back up now. And that's as easy as it is to create a backup. I try to make sure that... Um, that this hard drive is somewhere safe. Um, generally, if I go traveling, I try not to have it at the same at the same in the same place as my laptop because then they'll both get stolen or both get lost. Um, the other really good reason for for backing up your your laptop is that laptop hard drives are notoriously fragile. They they basically started to die the the day you start using them. So it's not a matter of if they're going to crash, but when. Uh, so life is much easier if you actually have it, have a recent backup. Just all your applications, your user, you can just plug it into some uh, some new computer or your older backup computer and go. And actually that reminds me of another tip I got from David Braun, which is that um, I thought... <laughs> I. I I think when I lost my iPhone a while ago in, in New York, was that in New York? Yeah. Um, I called him up and I was so proud. I, was, I said, like, I went to the Apple store, I got everything. I had a backup and I got everything set up. He's like, 
oh yeah, I've got I've got you on better. I travel with two iPhones. <laughs> like wow, how um, how prepared can you be? But it's true if you're actually on the road, and um, which, where where the the theft or the losing things is even more likely to happen, it's a smart thing to do. So I've definitely been traveling with two iPhones as well. I have my own my old iPhone three GS with a broken screen, which isn't good for much, but it's definitely good for an emergency to tide me over for three or four days until I can um, figure out what I want to do with a new one, which is what I did recently when I had my iPhone 4 um, stolen. I basically just went to the uh, to AT&T that day, backed up my 3GS from the backup on my laptop I had, which was pretty recent, um, I did, so I actually didn't lose hardly anything. And then uh, I ended up a few days deciding to, to a few days later deciding to buy an iPhone 4S, and then I switched back to that. And my 3GS is is back in back on the sidelines, <laughs> waiting for the next mishap. Um, and actually, for a while, when I had two laptops, uh, two working laptops, none of them spectacular, but both of them from Craigslist. Um, which, by the way, by the way, probably not the best idea unless you get a ridiculously good deal to buy used. Um, use laptops on Craigslist. Um, just buy a new, refurbished by Apple, something like that. But uh, yeah, when I had two laptops, I would actually travel with two laptops, just as I travel with two, you know, iPhone chargers, two toothbrushes, stuff like that that I tend to lose, leave behind. So that's been a little bit, a little, a little bit of my thoughts on backing up and creating a technology platform for yourself. It's one of the tools that makes my life easier and more predictable and allows me to focus on the other things I want to do.